Welcome to Creative Ramblings. In the last episode, I talked a little bit about my experiments with new materials. That's some of the stuff I've been working on inside the studio. Outside the studio, uh, there's also been stuff I've been working on. Being an artist, after all, is about half the time you're painting and half the time you're uh, doing marketing stuff and talking to people, uh, promoting your work. And being a Dutch artist uh, in a foreign country can have some interesting challenges, I can tell you. Two weeks ago, I took part in an extensive networking event where I needed to introduce myself over a microphone, giving a little elevator speech. Now, an elevator speech is used, to, uh, is used as like a one minute introduction to tell people who you are. And it usually means you have to give them a place to find you later. So you have to give them your website address or something like that. Like many other artists, my web address is my full name, denisebusemanpilger.com, which makes sense, right? Except for the fact that if you're not Dutch and I say that to you, you probably don't know how to spell that. So I figured I'd need a web address that's a little bit easier to remember. It took me quite a while to find something suitable because like obvious things like DBP art or Art by Denise were already bought by other people as were things like travelingartist.com and creativeramblings.com. But I think I found something that's suitable, a little bit shorter and a little bit easier to remember. Uh, so from now on, you can all find my work at artistabroad.com. So something else that has been keeping me busy for the past couple of weeks is, the, is looking for other venues to exhibit my art. Because I haven't really uh, planned like a big solo for this year, I'm looking for other ways to get exposure. And I promised myself that this year would be the year that I would venture out and kind of check out the, the art market in Toronto. Uh, people have been telling me for quite a while that the contemporary art market in Toronto is supposedly very good. So it's um, definitely a market I would want to try to get into. I had heard great things about the Artist Project, which I was way too late for to even enter this year. So I have to keep a close eye out for that one so I can enter my work for next year's show. So I did a lot of research into other shows that are available throughout the year in Toronto. So I finally decided to enter my work to the jury for the Toronto Outdoor Art Exhibit. Now the jury process for this one is very, very tough. So I hope I'm going to get in. I'm, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I've talked to multiple artists that have been part of this show in the past and everybody has been very, very enthusiastic about it. They, uh, they have some, some great reviews, uh, the organization is great and usually uh, the attendance is great, depending on the weather, of course. It's still an outdoor show, but I, I guess that's just a risk you have to take. So that's what's been going on in my world these past couple of weeks. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions for future topics, then please leave a comment. And uh, if you are liking this video blog, please share and subscribe. And I'll see you in a couple of weeks with some more creative ramblings. Bye!